Well, we couldn't understand it in the Middle Ages. I understand that. And then the church could be justified and say, well, you have to take it on faith. But no longer. The quantum laws govern the operation of things called photons, electrons, atoms, and you're made of all of them. You are atoms. That's all you are, atoms. And so what happens to those atoms governs you and your relationship with life. If you're all atoms, you're all electrons. Because that's everything that's in atoms, is an electron. And photons, and that's what you're made of. But all the time you went to church, nobody ever told you about those things. They said you have to have faith. Oh, the spirit moved it. No, it didn't. An electron moved. Why not? Oh, I can't believe that. That makes sense. <laughs> what will my pastor say? They say, that's of the devil. That's all they ever say when they don't know what the they're talking about is that's of the devil. But now, let me see. See these things here, photons, electrons, and atoms? They are not subject to birth and decay. They exist. They have no origins. They, they have no end. They change to go here and there as they wish without beginning and end. And if you look in the Bible, it says in Hebrews 7, 2 on page 980, to whom Abraham gave a tenth of all, to the king of righteousness, the king of peace, without father, without mother, without descent, having neither beginning nor end, but made like unto the sun, abideth. So there is a cosmic laws of the subatomic, and it goes in the Bible under the name of Melchizedek. There was no such thing. How can a person not have a mother and father, no beginning or no end? But these things do. And how do you give Melchizedek a tenth? When you meditate. When you separate from that which is recognized as the 10% of the left side of the brain. So everything in, in life, in your life, has been based on what you can feel, what you can experience, what you can see, your whole religion has been based on that principle. I remember when I went through, I went through this, the born again thing, and I mean, you know, people were claiming things and waving hundred dollar bills and or ten dollar bills, and, you know, not waving hundred, they were waving a dollar, and said, "Because the guy said you're going to get a hundred back." No, what's going to happen is you're going to lose the one you got in your hand. That's what's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> And it's true, everybody knows, everybody can laugh, we all went through that stuff. I mean, I'll try it, but I mean, someone's going to tell me, here, yeah, well, you put up one, you get a hundred back. But I lost the one, and that's the end of it.